to the channel. Remember, like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. Remember, man cannot live on Google Ads alone. Look in the description for 10 ways you can keep me full-time on YouTube. You could sponsor me on Patreon. You can send a buck a month, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars a month to Archie Luxury so that I can keep producing content. If everyone out there sent me a dollar a month, hey, I could survive. I could survive and make content full-time, but... You know, it's it's hard. It's very hard. The entertainment gig is a hard gig. But uh, let's do paid reviews. Paid reviews also keep me in the chair. This is from Alex. Hi, Archie. This is Alex. Just sent you $20 for a watch collection review. I got into watches about a year ago. So far, my collection consists of a Rolex Batman. A Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. 15450, four, 15, Hublot Classic Fusion, and a Panerai 112. Still learning and love your videos. Any advice on what watch I should get next? Thank you, Alex. Okay, well, thank you so much for uh, coming to the Archie Luxury Channel. The Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluna Channel. The Paul Pluna Channel is my prestige video review channel. And i got to say, geez, you've got a pretty nice collection there. Wowzers, pretty, pretty nice indeed there. Um, you have got a Batman. That's one of the, the great classics in the Rolex sports range. I mean, the Batman itself, steel, uh, GMT function watch with that beautiful ceramic bezel in black and blue. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is a grail watch beautiful watch in itself but not only that you've also got the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak this is the 37 mil one I believe the 15450 nice size nice size I think that's a a pretty good size for a classic Audemars Piguet Royal Oak what can you say that's a piece of horterology a uh, great piece great piece it's uh it's a nice nice dress sort of it's the sophisticated businessman's watch you know it's the it's the guy the very chic guy who drives the uh mercedes sl in and uh does the deal and has the mistress on the side that's the sort of watch he'd wear in automars pigay and yes i i am um, that's whew, what do you say that is a piece of horterology classic stunner uh, the Hublot Classic Fusion, I gotta be honest with you, I can't understand this Hublot thing. I can't understand it. I mean, Hublot is a relatively new Swiss company. Uh, <coughs> it's kind of lux. Well, I, I just don't understand why you'd buy a Hublot. I really don't understand it. it it's kind of... It's the watch you buy when you know nothing about watches. You know, it's sort of like having... It's sort of like a rich man's tag hoyer. I mean, Hublot is just a straight... Jean, Jean-Claude Biver has said it's just a straight copy of a Royal Oak. I mean, you've got a Royal Oak. I mean, how much better could you get than the real deal? The the Hublot... Uh, not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan, but <clears throat> it's okay. I know a lot of people do like Hublots, and uh, I'm, I always speak my, how I feel. It, it's, it's, this isn't content geared to, to uh, kiss your ass. This is content to tell you what I feel. I personally would sell it. <clears throat> I think it's a mistake. I think it's an ugly nothing watch. I think it's a piece of fucking shit. That's right. There you go. I've said it on YouTube. I think the Hublot is a piece of shit that you should get rid of. It's... You know, fortunately, a lot of people are morons out there, so you should get most of your money back. Uh, Hublot is kind of, you know, it's for people who know nothing about watches. Why would you buy a Hublot? I, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, then you've got a, a Panerai 112. What Panerai 112 is like the base zero. It's got the no second hand, just hour and minute. Classic. I got to tell you, with Panerai themselves there, I love the PAM 111 and the 112. Those two, if I was going to get a PAM, it would be one of those two models there. So, so let's have a look at this, this collection here. You've got a 
You got a Batman, which is, hey, that is ultimate GMT. You got a Royal Oak, that's like a horterology dress sort of watch. The Hublot is a mistake. We'll forget that. And you got the Panerai, a diver. So when we look at this collection and say, hey, how do we want to go with this? Uh, it's pretty clear to me you've gone for iconic pieces. Ignoring the Hublot, that's a piece of shit you should get rid of. Uh, I would honestly say to you, maybe the answer is to get a uh, an award-winning chronograph. Because you're buying the icons. The, the Batman's an icon, the Royal Oak's an icon, and the Panerai is a, is, is a diving icon. Why not get a uh, quite an inexpensive watch for someone of your means? Would be uh, an Amiga Speedmaster. Man on the moon! Man on the moon. That would be just a classic, iconic, beautiful piece. Not a lot of money, a lot of bang per buck. An Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. That would be a, a beautiful addition, I think, to your beautiful collection. Um, Speedmaster Man on the Moon. At the moment, Joma Shop have got brand newies. Uh, 3350. 3350. So, um, that, I think, would be a great watch to add. I, I think, also, if we could uh, look at it... Um, I'd possibly be looking at getting some really iconic models there. Um, now, it depends which way you want to go with this collection. I mean, you could say, hey, I want to buy watches that I like, or you want to buy, you want to set some rules up. And, I mean, one rule that I love is one brand per watch. And it really, really, really makes you think what, what works for you. And uh, in my collection, my Rolex choice is a, an Explorer 2. So... No more Rolexes because I've got my Explorer 2. Only one brand per slot, thank you. Um, if you wanted to do that, <laughs> that could be a, a cool way to go. I kind of, you've got to work out the rules for yourself. You know, you don't want to be too mean. But uh, I would say, you know, a Submariner would go nicely there. After the, uh, the Speed, the Speedmaster is just a classic. A manual wine chronograph, you've got to get it. Got to get a Speedmaster uh, Man on the Moon. I'd consider a Reverso. You might want to put a Reverso in a precious metal, like a, a Grand Reverso, just the classic Grand Reverso, or a tribute to 1931. You might even want to do that <clears throat> in a uh, in a precious metal, gold, rose gold, or yellow gold, or it's up to you what you want to do there. I would be angling. You know, you gotta you gotta work out what pops and what works for you. Um. You know, I, I like the one brand, but, you know, these rules, you've got to work them out yourself. You might say, only white metals. So you wouldn't get a rose or a yellow gold. You'd stick with steel or a white gold eventually. So you, you've got to work out what works for you. I think Batman and a Royal Oak and a Panerai, they're three very, very unique. Uh, you like to add your icons, and I think your icons are a good way to go there. Reverso's an icon. Uh, I'd, I'd also say the Rolex Submariner really is a superb, it's a superb icon in, 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 in watches there. Uh, you might want to add, I mean, down the track, I would be saying, you know, we'd want to add, you want to add a Patek Philippe. You know, we would want to add, like, I, I think just a, a very classic dress watch, like a 5196. That would be a really cool thing to add there, because, of course, we want to have iconic, beautiful pieces. Get rid of the Hublot. Get rid of that piece of shit. Get rid of that. That's that's really, you know, you've got so many nice pieces. I, I, I can't stand that piece. And I mean, because you've only sent me 20 bucks, I'll tell you the truth. The Hublot sucks. Okay, the Hublot sucks. It really sucks monkey's balls. <laughs> so I, I'd, I'd seriously get rid of the Hublot. Um... Reverso would be cool. A um, Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. That is just such a cool piece. It's it's a no-brainer. It's a bang per buck. Iconic sports watch. You might want to add... You want to add a little bit of gold into your collection. It depends if you, if you want to stay with white metals. I can respect it. But otherwise, maybe instead of getting a subby, just a steel no-date sub, maybe you could go for a bluesy two-tone Submariner. So... 
There's a lot of ways to grow this collection. You've got some really good foundation. A little bit of cancer there. We're going to get rid of that Hublot Classic Fusion. Get rid of that. That is just a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. <clears throat> and because people are morons, you will get most of your money back on that Hublot. So get rid of that. Get rid of that as quick as you can. And uh, I'd, I'd definitely add the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I'd add a Reverso. I'd add maybe a sub if you want it. You didn't mind having more than one watch per brand. Uh, and, and an ultimate. We have to add a Patek. A Patek. A Patek Calatrava. Preferably a 5196. That's a manual wine. No date. Just Elegante. Elegante. Or a 5296, which is the automatic version of that with the date. You know, there's a lot of beautiful, beautiful pieces. Great collection. You've obviously got a bit of coin, which is great. Good to see you got some money. Uh, get rid of the bloody Hublot! I don't know what the hell you're thinking. This is Paul Pluto, Paul Pluto. On the Paul Pluto channel, remember, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and look at getting a paid review for yourself, because man cannot live on Google Ads alone. Cut! <laughs>